you're like me, you do a lot of soldering, and chances are you've probably been messing with regular pen soldering irons for years. I'm 34, I've been messing with them since I was about 10 or so. Well, time to get rid of that, and it's time to up the game. So, time to go for a soldering station, costs less than $100. It is the Hakko FX888D. And the thing is, do you really want me to do an unboxing, or do you want me to just actually show you the uh, machine? Let me turn the camera around, and we'll go check out the machine. Okay, here's the actual unit, and for people who might have been actually using this machine before, this is actually an updated version. The um, D stands for digital, it actually has a digital display now, and for the older machine, if you had to adjust the temperature, um, like for the, adjust, the actual adjustments itself, it had a tool down below it. And you put it in the back and it would adjust the uh, what it thought was the correct temperature. Well, that's gone because it's all digital now. So, comes with a nice little booklet. It's only about four or five pages or so. But it tells you how to do all the functions. I'm just going to give you a quick rundown to show you how it works. Uh, depending upon the manufacturer you get it, or the uh, seller you get it from, this one also gave me a free little cutting tool from Amazon. So, that's cool. Comes with the station itself. <clears throat> has its own special little plug-in the gun <clears throat> comes with a solder holder let's get the gun out of here has a nice little place in the back here catch the solder safely the holder itself comes with a sponge that you can wet actually does have a bit of a reservoir you can fill this up with water if you can do a lot of soldering during the day and it'll keep your sponge nice and wet and it also has the uh, brass wiring that will safely clean your tip without sc scratching it or anything The soldering iron itself comes with a, it's kind of hard to tell right now because I have a little bit of solder on it, but it's a one and a half millimeter uh, chisel tip, perfect for doing uh, some SMD work. So, has a quick unscrew right here, but they've really tightened it down. I don't have a wrench available at the moment. Take it off, and you got the heating element right below. It's actually very light, and this whole unit is uh, ESD safe. The problem I had with uh, my other pen one was I would start soldering on like an LED, it would start lighting up, and power would actually start going through the unit itself. That's not a good thing. This whole unit is ESD and grounded, plus the rubber on this mount is conductive rubber, so it will help take your potential of your body down the ground so you don't accidentally shock a component and end up blowing it out with static electricity, especially since I'm recording this in the winter where there is no humidity and you're shocking everything. So I'm grounded the second I touch this rubber. Now, I have it preset for 600 degrees because I'm using lead-free solder and I got some right here. Just to show you, the iron is not warm and I haven't stopped the video at all. It is completely dead cold right now. So we're going to turn it on. There's a nice little switch on the side here. It will give you a two-second test real quick tell you what it's set at okay I have a set at 500 degrees right now and that's the temperature of the iron roughly it's actually not that cold in here I might have to adjust to 30 degrees it's about 60 in here but you can see how fast and this iron actually heats up and you're ready to work with it so you gonna keep an eye on it it'll only take about another 20 seconds for it to heat all the way up I remember I'm using lead free solder. Five hundred degrees. Voila, I'm already melting. And that was what? 35, 40 seconds, and it will retain the temperature. You also notice in this far little corner here, this blinking light, and you would think it's blinking at a constant rate, it's not. Uh, that is actually telling you when the light is on, the actual heating element is on. So it's maintaining this temperature. And it's, I think I believe a 65 watt iron. You're done. Just put it right on in there. You're good to go. Shut it off. Cools off in about 5-6 minutes or so. So it's pretty safe pretty fast. So there you go. Less than $100. It's the Hakko FX. 888D for digital. The older model, which had the turn knob, is actually being discontinued. You can find it online still a little bit as the time of 
at the time of me making this video in limited quantities around on Amazon and eBay. But once that stock is gone, they are no longer manufacturing the older analog. It's all going to be digital. For less than $100, you really can't go wrong with this.